Hello, everybody, and welcome. Thank you for joining me. My name's Tony, and I'm here with the Everyday Counts program. We have an hour together for chair yoga. Thank you for joining me. Making sure that the chair you're on is comfortable and stable, and that you have some space around you so you're not bumping into anything when you move. Come to a place where you'd like to start your practice. And for a lot of us, we like the support of the chair behind us. And for some of us, we like to come forward from the chair. So you're supported from the pelvis down, but strengthening through the core, just simply holding ourselves up. Feet at a comfortable distance. From there, imagine whether you've got shoes on, socks on, or bare feet. Picking up through the toes, flaring the toes wide, and then pushing down through the balls of the feet, inside and outside edges, and the heels of the feet, inside and outside edges, trying to even that up. As we push down, just gently, about 10 or 15%, we start to wake up through the arches of the feet, coming up through the inner legs. Keep that connection. Noticing if you're pushing more into one foot than the other and seeing if you can even that up as best as you can. And we're never looking for perfect. We're just taking a moment and deciding for ourselves what feels right. With those toes spread nice and wide, allow them to flutter down to the earth. Keep the arches lifted as best as possible. And then from here, Keeping those toes nice and soft, push down through the heels and the balls of the feet, both feet evenly as best as you can. And feel the muscles of your legs waking up a little. You might even feel a lifting through the core, through the crown of the head. And then allow that pressure to ebb away. And we've got that connection down to the earth, feeling that support underneath us. Allow your legs to sit deeply into that support. And you might even notice that you can let go of some tension and tightness in your legs that you didn't even know were present. Allowing your awareness to come to your seat where it meets the chair. Wiggling and waggling from side to side if you like. And then sitting as evenly as you can in those two sitting bones underneath you. Notice if you're sitting more to one side than the other. Notice if you're sitting onto the back of the pelvis, if your shoulders are way back of your, of your hips, or if you're sitting forward, you're gonna feel a little more pressure on the top of the thighs, the back of the thighs. You wanna sit really clear up, as high as we can on those sitting bones. So we're neither forward nor back, so the shoulders are more or less over the hips. And this is gonna look different for each and every one of us because we're put together differently. So feel into that. And it might feel strange because you might not be sitting in your habitual stance and that's okay. You're listening to me in the cues and then you're deciding for yourself what feels right for you and adjusting for that. From that deepening through the pelvis all the way down to the soles of the feet, which is grounded, there's a lifting through the torso, a lifting of the heart through the crown of the head, rolling the shoulders back and down gently and softly. And then allowing the shoulders to settle and broadening across the collarbones. Take a big breath in when you're ready. On an exhale, keep the shape, but then let go of any tension and do that for a couple more breaths. Big breath in. Exhale, use the exhales to relieve any tightness. And then we settle down into a natural breath. Offering your eyes down to the floor, softening your gaze or even closing your eyes if you're comfortable. And we'll take a little check in here. As we feel that support underneath us, notice how you're feeling in this moment. Try to stay away from the stories as to why and just acknowledge how you're feeling. And there may be different emotions that come up. And there may be a lot or one or two or a very present one. Or maybe you're not quite sure. 
if there's anything there at all, and everything is okay. We're just noticing. No judgment, just being curious. Notice if there's a lot on your mind today. If there's one or more things that are very present in your awareness, any concerns or things you're looking forward to or things that have already happened. Notice how your body feels today. So take your awareness inside your body, noticing maybe your energy levels, Again, trying to stay away from the story as to why and just notice how are my energy levels today? Are there any tender places in my body that I need to take extra care of? Where does my body feel strong and stable? If there are particular sensations that are very loud, acknowledge them and then move on to another sensation in a different part of your body. Finding the quieter ones too. So we start to train the mind not only to notice what is very loud, but also noticing the ease, the comfort in different places. And starting to notice the breath in the body as it comes and goes. Breathing in and out through your nose if that's comfortable for you, and if it's not, then an easy breath for you as always. We breathe in and out through the nose when we can to regulate the nervous system as quickly as we can. And the nose does this simply because it's smaller than the mouth. However, if that's uncomfortable for you or it feels like a strain, please breathe at the easiest breath you can find. And we start to deepen the inhale and lengthen the exhale. Listening to the sound of the breath as it comes in and out. And we start to smooth that breath out all the way up to the top of the inhale and all the way down to the bottom of the exhale. So we have this expanse and softening, this steady rhythm of breath, your rhythm. Everybody breathes differently. Notice your breath here. Notice the smoothness of the breath. And we're never looking for perfect. And then let go of any forcing, any straining in the breath, even if it means the breath gets a little smaller. Mm-hmm. Notice the effort on the inhale, which is the taking in of the breath, the slight straining as the lungs expand, and then letting go of that ease of the exhale. And there's this quality of relaxation at the end of the breath, that exhale. Effort and ease. And that's what we'll take forward into our practice. Noticing the effort, noticing the ease. And if it feels out of balance, as if there's much, much too much of one than the other, then see if you can balance that out, just like you balanced the distribution of weight in your left and right foot, in one side and the other of your pelvis. And just like you balanced the inhale and the exhale, that steady and smooth rhythm. Let's root down through our feet and seat once more. Rise from there and broaden across the collarbones as the shoulders settle. Keep that connection to the breath. This is the inhale and the exhale. Let's take the nose over towards the right, inhaling to center and over to the left. And I'm, of course, mirroring you. Keep the collarbones wide. Notice if... As you look to one side, the opposite shoulder wants to creep forward. Let's keep that isolation in the cervical spine. Keep the head balanced as best as you can over the heart. For a lot of us, that means drawing back in space. Let's take two more either side. 
Maybe you can even take the eyes and try and gaze over those shoulders as you twist gently within the rhythm of your breath. And after the next exhale, we'll come back to center. On the inhale, lifting the chin, lengthening through the back of the neck so we're not just compressing. On the exhale, draw the chin down towards the chest, collarbones wide. Inhaling again, lengthening through the back of the neck as we reach towards the sky with the forehead. Exhaling, drawing down. Bigger movements are not better here. We're trying to move within the breath and being very aware of how it feels for us. Always adjusting and adapting things to meet your body. So we're never working against the body, always working with the body. Let's take one last exhale whenever you get there. And then we'll come all the way back through center. Taking that right arm down, dangling, and of course I'm mirroring you. We're gonna circle through that shoulder. I'm gonna be moving through all the joints in the body. Getting that ease of movement. Inhaling and exhaling, noticing how this feels. The rest of your body as stable as possible as you circle that right shoulder. And allow that arm to do whatever it needs to come along with you. We'll pause at the end of the exhale or when you're ready and we'll take that round in the opposite direction. This may feel very different. Notice where you feel this in your body. The bigger movement is not the better one. We want the control and the smoothness of those circles as best as we can. And there might be some areas that don't feel smooth at all. That's exactly why we're doing the practice. Mm -hmm. Let's take that arm down, hand into a tight or soft fist, and we're just gonna circle through that wrist one direction, getting all the way through the wrist joint, and we'll take that round in the opposite direction. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. And then release that, wiggle those fingers a little bit so we get into all the joints of the fingers too. And then we'll take that hand back to support as we take the left arm down. Give it a little wiggle. And with an inhale, we're drawing the shoulder up, exhaling, rolling it down whichever direction you've chosen to go in. Notice how that feels. It might feel very different from the other side. Being gentle with yourself and mindful with the breath and movement working together. In your own rhythm, at the end of one of your next exhales, let's pause and take that circling around in the opposite direction. Noticing how that feels for you. Mm -hmm. Nicely done. And when you're ready, let's pause and come back to center. Collarbones wide, left hand in a tight or soft fist, and we'll roll through that wrist. And then we'll pause and take that round in the opposite direction. Mm -hmm. That hand a little shake, wiggle all the fingers and thumb, and then we'll take that hand back down to support. If you're sitting into the back of your chair, I encourage you to come forward a little as we're getting down in through the spine now. On the inhale, draw the heart forward, arch the, arch the back as we draw the elbows back. Hands drift towards the pelvis. On the exhale, send the fingers towards or on the knees as we curl and round. Inhaling. Extension of the spine, exhaling, flexion of the spine. Start gently. If you want to add into this, we've already done this, lifting up through the chin on the inhale. Exhale, drawing the chin down towards the chest. Getting into that cervical spine. Length through the back of the neck on that inhale and exhale. 
If you want to, send the tailbone out behind you on the inhale. We get that overarching through the lumbar spine now. And on the exhale, rounding off into the back of the pelvis. And again, moving more down into the lumbar spine. You can take this down into your feet. Imagine dragging the heels back towards the chair on the inhale and pushing down evenly between both feet, just like we did in the beginning, as we round. Mm -hmm. And if you want to add on, let's add the arms. Hands coming either side of you, dangling down on the inhale. Let's take both arms up, an extension of the spine as if you're holding a beach ball as big or as small as your shoulders feel comfortable with. And on the exhale, as we round, take the hands down, maybe even back behind the hips, depending on your range of motion. Inhaling and exhaling. And of course, extending the arms means the core has to work a whole lot more. If this feels too much, then feel free to take the hands down and focus on that flexion and extension of the spine, which is, of course, the entire point of the movement. Go at your own pace. Every other one is fantastic. Just noticing what feels good for you. Make it your own. Everybody's spine moves a little bit different. As long as we're moving mindfully, aware of what feels good, adjusting for that. Let's take another three breaths. With or without the arms. Mm -hmm. Don't um don't hold back from playing and changing up the movement and deciding what feels good for you after that last exhale we'll bring the spine back to neutral and if you haven't already let's dangle those hands next to you rooting to rise steadying the breath on the inhale let's turn the palms towards the front draw the shoulder blades towards each other so we get this openness through the chest as the shoulder blades shrink in towards the back body. And we allow that to ripple through the hands. So maybe the hands even turn up. On the exhale, turn the palms down and allow that rotation to ripple as the palms maybe turn back behind you, maybe even up a little. And the shoulder blades slide away from each other and we get this curling in of those collarbones. Inhaling and exhaling. So there's a rotation coming from the fingertips all the way up through those shoulder blades. Allow those shoulders to come forward and back. And notice the openness through the chest as we open on the inhale and that rounding of the exhale, not unlike cat and cow. Option to stay here, hands dangling down. You can lift the hands up any height, maybe shoulder height but no more, as if you're twisting in and out a light bulb. And don't worry if one side is very different from the other. It is a myth that our bodies are symmetrical. So just allow yourself three more breaths or rest. Obviously, if the arms are up, you're taking a whole lot more energy to stabilize this movement. So building strength, let's stay for the last exhale unless you're resting. And when you're ready, taking those hands all the way down. Any intuitive movement to release any tension, go ahead. Come back to that steady breath, those longer, smoother breaths in and out, effort and ease. If there's too much effort, then balance it with that focus on the exhale and vice versa. Mm -hmm. I'm going to take those hands in front of you. On the inhale, let's raise that right arm up, maybe a little, maybe a lot, and then draw the hand down as if you're pulling down a rope. Inhaling up, now the left side. And we're reaching side to side now. And as you're reaching, no matter higher how high that hand comes, root down with the same hip. So if I'm reaching with the left hand, the left hip is rooting into the chair. You can root that down through the left foot. And we get that length through 
the rib cage, the waistline, up through the armpit, through the arm. You might notice this in different places, like your lower back, your upper back. Be gentle with yourself, always adjusting for what feels right in your body. Resting when you need to. Let's take two more either side. And again, making sure as you reach, you're rooting down to the same hip. So really do get that connection in the side body. One more either side, but going at your own pace. Staying with that breath. And then taking the hands all the way back to center. Any intuitive movement, releasing any tension, and we come back to that original rooting to rise with that steady breath. Coming into a gentle twist here, bending through the right elbow, soft fist. Rooting down, feet and seat, and rising from there. This is the inhale. On the exhale, we're gonna take that right soft fist punching it over towards the left side as if in slow motion. As we do that, keep that right foot rooted down so the right hip is drawn back. Inhaling, elbow comes back towards the right, even drawing it back behind you just like we did when we twisted that arm open. That's the inhale. On the exhale, send that right fist towards the left. The further forward that is at a diagonal, the easier it is, so less of a twist. The further to the side or back you come, then the bigger twist through the spine. Noticing what feels best in your body. Left hand can slide up and down that left leg or dangle next to you. Can take that gaze over that left shoulder. Notice what's happening in that lower body, especially on that right side. And it is a dual action here. We're drawing back with the right hip as we're reaching with the right fist. Let's take two more here and then we're going to take this up to the top left. So we're in the middle at the moment and we're going to send that next top left. Mm -hmm. Steady breath. One more here and we're going to send it bottom left now. So across the body and down towards the earth, either more in front of you to the side, or maybe some of you have rotation that you can even come back behind you. Last one here, we're gonna go middle, top, and bottom three times. So shooting it around, shoulder height, up to the top, and down to the bottom. And then two more just like that. Nice and slow, keep the breath steady. Keep connected to that effort and ease. If the breath gets ragged, there's too much effort happening. Balance everything out. One more, middle, top and bottom, but at your own pace, you don't need to match me. Nice and slow, last one. And then we're coming back to center. Release that right hand down beside you or on that right thigh. Left elbow bends, nice soft fist. Root down, especially through that left foot to keep that left hip pinned back. This is the inhale, draw the shoulder blade in towards the spine behind you. That's the inhale on the exhale. We're gonna take that over towards the right about shoulder height. Inhaling and exhaling. I'm just getting used to this direction. You can take the gaze with you to the right or over that right shoulder, depending on what feels good for you. Keep that left hip pinned back so we really isolate through the spine instead of taking our pelvis with us, which feels like we're going a whole lot further, but it's not the twist from the spine that's helping that. Let's take two more here and then we'll go up and lower and then we'll take those three together so now next time we punch across nice and slow and up towards the top right two more just like that slow and steady take rests whenever you need to if something doesn't feel right in your body then adjust things now we're going bottom right 
Notice how this feels. Notice where you feel it in your body. Stay connected to that breath. And then we're going middle, top, and bottom three times. Middle, across, and top, across, and down to the bottom. Two more. Keep connected to the breath. Keep that left hip drawn back in space. One more. Unless you're resting, always noticing what feels best for you. One more here. And then we're coming back through center. Dangling the hands down, rooting to rise. And from here, imagine there's a wall behind you sitting back through the shoulder blades and the back of the skull is sitting back on that imaginary wall too. This is the inhale, keeping the shoulders um, level. I'm going to take the whole torso over towards the right. Inhale through center and take the whole shape to the left. Now the temptation here is to drop the shoulder. I'm going to keep those collarbones as level as you can. Inhaling through center and off to the other side. Now as you do this, the go-to is to use your hips. So we sit more to one hip and the opposite hip gets light. So I'm going to um, invite you to keep those, that pelvis rooted both sides and keep the movement going. That means it's going to be a whole lot smaller. And again, we're isolating through the spine here. It's a good functional movement. Think about standing there and reaching for one side or if you're sitting at a table, reaching for the other side. Inhaling and exhaling one more either side here. Collarbones are level. Coming back through center and now we're going to dip those shoulders. So this is the inhale. On the exhale, we're going to reach with those right fingertips, right shoulder dips, left shoulder lifts. Inhaling back through center, coming to the other side. So now we're getting into that lateral flexion of the spine, keeping the pelvis rooted down. We've got that effort and ease with the breath. The movement is controlled, so we're not concerned about how far down those fingertips reach. We're just wanting that breath to be steady and the movement to be as controlled as the breath. Let's take two more either side, getting that full range of motion, keeping both hips rooted down. One more either side unless you're resting. And we'll come back through center, beautifully done. Hands come back to support. Take a big breath in and exhale it out nice and steady. Beautiful. Now we're going to take those feet a little wider apart. So we've got external rotation. The more you come back on your chair, the, less, the more support you have. The more forward you come, the less support you have. So you get to decide. Rooting to rise. If this is uncomfortable for you in any way, please come back to a more comfortable stance, making sure your ankles are under the knees. So we're not um, having our heels underneath us or our legs out, so we find that stability. We're gonna waggle a little bit from side to side, make, for, make sure you feel stable above all else. And then from here, I'm gonna take that left hand on the left thigh, take the fingertips in, stay here, or leaning off towards the left side. Option to keep the hand there, the elbow there, or the forearm. If the forearm's there, take the um, palm up as if you're holding something there and broaden across the collarbone. So we're sitting back with the right arm here. Take the support of that thigh. I'm gonna dangle the right hand in front of you. So the shoulder's coming forward a little. And then from where you are, we're going to reach down. So we're curling in through the belly here. There's a slight rounding through the spine. And then on the inhale, we're going to bend the elbow and look up towards the sky. We're going to get this opening through the chest as the elbow comes back, reaching down and inhaling the elbow up. 
and maybe even back behind you. Mm -hmm. Adjust that left arm so it supports you and you feel comfortable here. Inhaling and exhaling. Mm -hmm. Let's take two more, nice and slow. Last one here. Drawing the elbow up towards the sky and opening through the collarbones. And then that right hand comes back to support. Push through the left hand to draw you all the way up. Any intuitive movement to release tension, go ahead and we're coming to the other side. Adjusting your stance to make sure you feel stable. Right hand is supporting you as we come to the right. You can keep the hand there, the forearm, the elbow. Turn the palm up if your forearm is um, feeling comfortable down there. That way we open through the collarbone. Draw the belly in and allow that left arm to dangle in front of you. Draw the chin in so we're supporting the back of the neck and breathe. This is the exhale. On the inhale, bend the elbow up towards the sky, maybe back behind you and we open. It's kind of like a good morning stretch. Exhaling, dipping those fingers down, inhaling, lifting. Noticing how that feels. Staying with your breath. And we'll take three more. Smooth the breath out, reaching with the elbow and then reaching with the fingertips. Getting into the left side on the back body here. Staying for the last breath. And then that left hand comes back to support. Use the right hand to bring you up to center. Relieve any tension and the fingertips come to the inside of the thighs here. Rooting to rise, steady the breath into effort and ease so it balances out. And we start to rotate through the ribs. Inhaling and exhaling. Smoothing it out. Getting the head, the neck, the shoulders involved, the hips. Allowing this to be more of an intuitive movement than any kind of feeling that there's a right and wrong way of doing this. Allowing your body to move as fluidly as you can. Bigger isn't better, and these small movements or even imagined movements are just as great. Let's pause at the end of an exhale and then take that round in the opposite direction when you're ready. Smoothing and steadying. Mm -hmm. Again, intuitive movements. Allow yourself to feel into this for another three breaths, resting whenever that feels better for you, of course. And then when you're ready, coming back through the center. Big breath in. Exhale it out. Hand to or on that right knee. Pick up through the toes, maybe the ball of the foot, making sure that that heel is directly under the knee. On the inhale, we'll take that into an external rotation. In, in, <laughs> exhale, internal rotation. Inhale and exhale. The further forward you are, of course, the less support you have underneath that right thigh. The further back you are, the more support you have. So you get to decide, make sure that the left leg and your upper body is still in stable, so we're isolating through that right hip. If you don't need the support of your hand, then of course that control is helping strengthen the abductors and adductors, which are those muscles that connect the um, from the pelvis to the inside and outside edge of the legs or the upper thighs using this movement. Next time that knee comes out, we'll keep it there. Take the foot down if it was lifted and we'll make any adjustments you need to as we come to the other side. 
Left hand towards or on that knee. You can pick up the toes, spread them wide, or pick up the ball of the foot if you're comfortable. Right side and your upper body is still and stable as we take it wide on the inhale. Exhale, we've got that internal rotation. Noticing how that feels in the hip joint. Smoothing and steadying. Mm -hmm. Lubricating into that left hip. And the next time that knee comes out, we'll keep it there. If the toes were lifted, we'll take it back down and readjust yourself. From here, we're going to take those legs into more parallel, washing the knees side to side. Relieving any tension through the hip here. Let's take a big breath in. Exhale it out nice and steady. Beautifully done. Coming back to that check-in, noticing how you're feeling. Steady the breath, a little deeper on the inhale, a little longer on that exhale. And when you're ready, if your eyes are lowered, then lifting them, opening your eyes. And from here, we're gonna come down onto the floor and get a little more into those hips. And as we do that, bring everything you need for your relaxation at the end and I'll see you down on the floor. Here we are, down on the earth. We're gonna get a little into that hip range of motion to keep that, um, those hip joints nice and fluid. The more we move, the easier it is to move. Coming down onto your back, knees to the sky, feet to the floor. When you're ready, picking the hips up and just shuffling them a little closer towards your heels so we lengthen through the spine. Take a nice breath in. Exhale, let go of any tension. And start to allow your bones to get a little heavier into the support underneath you. And then from here, steady the breath. We deepen the inhale, lengthen the exhale, and smooth it out in your own rhythm. And then we draw that right knee in towards you. Give, you. give yourself a little hug here. Use that left foot to anchor down. So we draw the belly in and down towards the center of the earth. While we're here, let's just circle through the ankle in one direction, getting that range of motion. Nice and slow, slower than you think, and then we'll take that in the opposite direction. Keep that breath slow. So more is not better here. What we want is the fluidity of the movement and the control. Coming back to a flexed ankle, spread the toes nice and wide. And then we'll take the hands either down either side of the hips, palms down, and a cactus or a T, or you can take the hands behind the head, whatever feels comfortable for you. This is the exhale. Curl that knee in towards your chest, and you can help yourself with that um, left foot pushing down to allow that to happen. You might even feel this compression here in that right hip. That's the exhale on the inhale. We're sending the foot up towards the ceiling. Nice bend in that knee, but we're pushing through the heel or towards straight, getting into the back of the leg. Inhaling, lengthen, exhaling, we're curling in. So we're getting that flexion through that hip joint, which often we don't get. This is the easiest way to do it because gravity is on our side. Option to stay here, keep moving, or option to send that leg at a 45 degree angle. On the inhale, we're extending. On the exhale, we're curling it in. Nice and slow. 
Option to stay here, option to send that right leg hovering over the earth. Inhaling and exhaling. And what we want is the slowness. So that steadiness of breath is guiding the movement. And of course, we're getting that extension through the hip flexor here and that control through the hip. Let's take another two. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. And then we're going to draw that in. Give your knee a little hug and squeeze it in a little again. We're getting, getting that compression. The top of the thigh might even rest towards or on the belly or ribs. From here, right hand comes to the right knee, left arm in a cactus or a T or down by your hip. Getting some grounding on that left side and the left shoulder is rooted. Right knee comes up towards the sky, lengthen through the right arm, and then we're circling through that hip. Inhaling and exhaling. Keep the hand on the knee and one breath to one circle. More isn't better here. So we want the control. If you don't need that support with the hand, then release the hand as long as the movement doesn't get quicker. The add-on here is to extend the left leg if that feels okay in your groin and we're circling. Allow the movement to be controlled. So we never hold the breath. We're always staying with that steady, longer, steadier breath. And then on the next time that knee comes in, we'll pause and then take it around in the opposite direction. Stay small, stay controlled, stay within the breath. Any holding of the breath, you're coming back to Stillness and starting again. As if you're drawing circles in the air. Let's take another two here. You can always rest, you can always do less. Mm -hmm. And then we're drawing that knee in towards your chest. Bend the left knee unless it's already there. From here, cross the ankle of the right ankle over the top of the left thigh. And we're in a figure four here. You can extend that left heel away from you to lessen the um, movement, that external rotation on the right hip, or draw the heel a little closer towards your seat. Keep the breath steady, and then gently add a little bit of pressure, only about 10 or 15% into the outer ankle, pushing into the left thigh. And then we're winging out this right knee. Not so much that we're shifting the pelvis. So keep the back of the pelvis rooted and just keep that knee out. Option to stay here. This feels enough and it's, um, it's challenging to keep that breath steady. Then you're staying here. If you wanna add on, hover that left foot. Take hold of that left thigh on the inner and outer thigh behind the knee or even in the front of that shin, depending on how long your arms are. Don't allow the arms, wherever they are, the hands to do all the work. So the legs are doing at least 50% of the work here. If that left foot is lifted, then the left thigh is drawing into the outer ankle and the right ankle is pushing back. And we're here for three breaths. Thread the needle. Being gentle with yourself, never holding the breath. Always resting if you prefer. And then after that last breath, I'm gonna take that left foot down as if, um, if it wasn't already there. Release the right leg. Take the knees wide, cactus or a T in the arms, and we're gonna wash those knees side to side like windshield wipers. Keep the back of the pelvis on the earth, massaging from one side to the other. And then we're gonna come back up to center, parallel the feet again about hip distance. Drawing the left leg in, now the side. As we hear that compression with the left thigh and the left belly, or left side of the belly or the ribs, and then we're circling through that left ankle, nice and slow, slower than you think. Breath is steady and smooth. 
and then we'll pause and take it round in the opposite direction. Mm -hmm. Keep a flex in that ankle, spread through the toes, and here we are. Hands come down by the hips in a cactus or a T, shoulder height or behind the head. Keep that flex, that gentle flex in the ankle. This is the exhale on the inhale as if you're pushing through molasses, press the foot up towards the ceiling. Nice bend in that knee or push through the heel, lengthen through the back of the leg. Exhaling, curling in. And we're not just letting it fall back down. This is a conscious curling in, thigh coming in towards the ribs. Inhaling, pushing and drawing down. Think less about how um, straight the leg is and more about as if you were moving through molasses, as if there was pressure there, both on the inhale and exhale. Great place to stay. You want to add on, then send that left leg about a 45 degree angle. So to meet that right thigh more or less. Inhaling and exhaling, this may be enough. Keeping the belly drawn down and that right foot rooted into the earth can help that happen. Option to extend that left leg along the floor, hovering. If you're overarching your back to let that happen, please do a whole lot less. We want the belly button rooted down as if your lower back is imprinted on the support underneath you. Mm -hmm. Let's take two more here. Keep it steady and smooth. If you're rushing through an area, do a whole lot less. Everything is about the control. Coming back through center and then draw yourself in. You can give yourself a little hug. Then the left hand goes to the left knee. Right arm is in a cactus or a T to ground the right shoulder and the left knee draws up towards the ceiling, lengthening the left arm. And we circle, circle through the hips one direction. Keep it steady and smooth. Everything is connected to the control. If you want to and you don't need that support of the hand, then let the knee do its work, drawing circles in the, in the ceiling. The right leg can extend if that feels good. If it feels like too much strain, then do less, bend the right knee, draw the belly in towards the earth, and we're getting that rotation through the hip, nice and slow. Always listening to your body more than you're listening to me, resting when you need to. And the next time that knee comes in, we'll pause, keep it small, and we'll go around in the opposite direction. More control and steady, Movement with that steady breath is what we're looking for rather than a bigger movement. Inhaling and exhaling. Mm -hmm. Let this be your movement. We all do this differently. And then the next time that knee comes up, we're gonna keep it there. Give it a little hug. Right foot comes back to the floor unless it was already there. Cross the outer left ankle over the right thigh, and here we are. About 10 or 15% pressure in that left ankle pushing into the right thigh as we draw the left knee out, keeping the back of the pelvis rooted, and we breathe. Great place to be getting that external rotation. If you want to add on, hover the right foot, bring that right thigh in towards you any amount. Hands coming to the inner and outer right thigh behind the knee in front of that shin, depending on what feels good. Wherever you are, the breath is your key. If you're here but you cannot breathe, please come back to a previous modification. Working with your body, never against it and never against the breath. We'll take three more breaths here, steady and smooth. Can always come out early or stay for that last exhale. And then if that right foot was lifted, let's lower it down. Relieve that right ankle. We'll take the knees or the feet nice and wide here, at least mat distance. Taking the arms in a cactus or a T about shoulder height. 
Keep the pelvis rooted down to start with, and we're just going to windshield wipe those knees side to side. Any feeling in the body that this is too much, please um, stop and go or um, allow yourself to do a little less. If this feels good, option to take the knees more to one side, lift the opposite hip, and then we'll go from side to side. So we're getting this length now down through the outer hip. Option to take the knees to one side and stay three breaths. Opposite shoulder, knees are away from the opposite shoulder. You can take the gaze over that shoulder if it's rooted. Breathe. If anything doesn't feel good in your body, please come out. Let's stay for another breath if you haven't already come out. I'm going to inhale, come over to the other side. Don't expect this to feel the same. Shoulders are grounded. Maybe one hip is lifted and we breathe. Stay for the last breath or so. Opening up through the side and across the front of those hip flexors. And then we're going to come all the way back to center. Root through the pelvis and the feet come back to a central place. Taking the knees in and give yourself a little hug. Rock and roll a little bit from side to side. And then from here, we'll take those feet down. Pick the hips up, take it to the right side of your mat. Extend the left leg and that right knee comes up and over into a twist, keeping the right shoulder grounded as the right knee comes to the left. If it feels okay in your neck, take the gaze over that right shoulder and breathe. Let's take another couple of breaths here. See if you can breathe into your whole torso. Play around with the height and of that hip, depending on what feels good here, the height of the knee. Stay with the last exhale, keeping that right shoulder grounded. Gaze comes to center and the right knee draws up. Ground the right foot and then the left foot too, shifting the hips to center and over to the left. Extend the right leg out, drawing that left knee up and over your body to the out. So you're swinging to the outside of that right hip. Left shoulder is grounded and here we are. Play with where you want that left knee to be, depending on how it feels in your hip and breathe. And when you're ready, Gaze comes to center, if it was off to the side, we'll draw that knee up and over. Plant the left foot, the right foot joins it, and then pelvis comes back to center. Heels wide, knees together, and we're here in constructive rest. If you want to take full relaxation in any other shape, legs extended, arms extended, Maybe you want something underneath your knees, anything that feels really good to you here. And as you get settled, make sure that you're taking extra care to add as much comfort as you can here to your relaxation. Extra blankets, you might wanna take a sip of water. And then once you're there, once you're in the shape that you've chosen, take a moment and settle in. Adjusting maybe one shoulder blade and then another softly underneath you to open your heart space. Maybe you need to even up a pillow behind your head or you want an extra layer across you to keep you warm. Take a big breath in when you're ready. And on an exhale, if you haven't already, soften your gaze or close your eyes. 
And we'll start to settle ourselves in. With every exhale, start to allow that exhale to take you deeper into the support underneath you. The ease of the exhale, follow the exhale from the top all the way down to the bottom as you push just a little bit more air out softly. Listen to the length of that exhale. Let's take three more conscious exhales like that, all the way down, allowing your bones to get heavier with every breath. And whenever you come up to your next exhale, simply let the breath go as if you were releasing a bird from your hand. And the breath becomes its own. Allowing your muscles to loosen, especially the muscles of your face and jaw, shoulders are heavy. And as you allow yourself to dip deeper and deeper, there may be a lightness, a feeling of weightlessness that comes over your body. As your spirit opens, and your awareness expands. Allow that deep conscious rest to happen effortlessly and easily as you give yourself full permission to unwind and release, release your practice, release the thoughts, release the judgments. Take a big step back from all the distractions happening with your senses and rest in that awareness. A step back from that sensory experience that we all have. Dipping deeper and deeper down. And you can stay here for as long as you like in this conscious rest. If you would like to stay here, let my words simply wash over you, deepening with every breath into that calm quietness. If you wish to finish your practice, Feel into the support underneath you. The 
Take a big breath in. Exhale it out. Every inhale, gather in that energy. Every exhale, just release any lost little bits of tightness, tension. And as the breath starts to be more mindful, allow fingertips to wiggle, toes, ankles and wrists as we start to awaken ourselves. Allow the movements to be slow as you maybe stretch out wide or long. Maybe you want to curl in or wash those knees from side to side like we did earlier. If you're on your back, you may want to gather yourself over to one side, supporting your head by your bicep. And taking a few breaths. And then allowing yourself in your own time to make your way to wherever your chosen shape is for finishing up today. Allowing your body to guide you in its own way. There's no wrong way to do this. As you come to your chosen shape, settling in, rooting down into the support underneath you, just like at the beginning, and we rise through the heart space, through the crown of the head. Any gesture that comes into your awareness, go ahead to finish up your practice today. We'll take a breath in. On the exhale, dipping the chin slowly towards your heart space, softening the gaze or closing the eyes and taking a few moments here to check in with yourself. Notice how you're feeling after your practice. Notice your mind, your body, your breath in the body, in the body, working with the breath, harmless and harmony. Take a breath of gratitude here for yourself, for being here and practicing, moving and breathing and being aware of your whole self as you move from my heart to yours. Thank you for being here. Namaste.